Hi, my name is Andrew, and today I will be talking about the Cymax. The Cymax scientific name is Symphalangus syndactylus. The Cymax taxonomic classification is Kingdom, Animalia, Phylum, Chordata, Class, Mammalia, Order, Primates, Family, Halobatidae. Cymanx are found throughout Southeast Asia in the Barosan Mountains in Sumatra and mountains south of the Perak River and Peninsula of Malaysia. They are also found in Yala and Nawatiwat province in southern peninsula of Thailand. In the future, the Cymanx habitat will be lost due to palm oil plantation, forest fire, illegal logging, encroachment and human development. The Siamang in the stirrup forest live in small groups because of lack of food, resources and trees for living. The Siamang has a stocky build and is the largest of the gibbons. It can grow from 74 to 89 centimeters high. The Siamang's average weight is 10.5 kilograms and it can weigh as much as 14 kilograms. The Siamang has long thick black fur and gray area around the shin and mouth. The Siamang's face is mostly hairless except for a thin mustache. The baby Siamang is entirely black. The Siamang swings through the forest using its arms, which are twice longer than its legs, in a motion known as brachiation. The Siamang doesn't have a tail. The Siamang can balance really well, and it can even be found walking on its hind legs along tree branches. The Siamang uses the tallest trees that tower above the canopy for resting. Siamangs rest up to 50% of waking hours, followed by eating, moving, and social activities. Siamangs are very sociable and like to communicate with facial expressions and actions. As well as groom each other, they like to call with loud sounds in the morning time. The Siamang lives in groups of up to six due to its high position within the canopy and its quick movement through the forest, it is easy for the Siamang to escape their predators. The Siamang's diet consists of equal amount of ripe fruits and leaves. They also eat insects and flowers. Around 20 to 50 percent of the Siamang's diet are fruits, with figs from ficus trees being especially important for the Siamang. Around 40 to 65 percent of its diet are young leaves such as leaves from linus, woody vines, the water vine, and monkey's ladder. According to the IUCN Red List, the current conservation status of Siamang is endangered. The Siamang is also protected by laws, meaning that international trade in the species is not allowed. The major threats to the Siamang is forest habitat loss due to deforestation caused by palm oil plantation, forest fire, illegal logging, encroachment, and human development, as well as poaching and hunting. Around 40% of the Siamang's habitat on Sumatra has already been destroyed. Since 2002, 107,000 square kilometers of palm oil plantations have removed large areas of the Siamang's habitats in Indonesia and Malaysia. Forest fire have destroyed more than 20,000 kilometers square of Siamang habitats. In Sumatra, illegal logging in Indonesia increased rapidly. After 1998, and destroyed the remaining tropical rainforest. In Malaysia, approximately 2,500 square kilometers of forest are being cleared each year. 
Forest encroachments replace forests into coffee plantations. Cymex are also captured for pet trade. There are many rescue centers that are set up to conserve the Cymex, either to send them back into the forest or help with the breeding program. The protected areas of the Cymex are Currency Sublat National Park, Bukit Barasan Sablatan National Park, Gunung Lisu National Park, Wei Kambas National Park, and West Langkat Reserve in Indonesia. Fraser's Hill Reserve, Gunung Besut Forest Reserve, Kwar Wildlife Reserve, and Ulu Gombak Wildlife Reserve. In Malaysia, and the Halabala Wildlife Sanctuary in Thailand. The Sustainability Compass The obstacles to conservation of the Siamang are due to habitat loss, poaching, and hunting. It is important to protect the Siamang's remaining forest habitat to make sure the Siamang survive. Measures include stricter rules to ban logging and protect forest reserves. Export restrictions and conservation education are needed to help reduce the pet trade that endangers the Siamang. The following pages are my sources, including books, pictures, and websites. The major threats to the Siamang is forest habitat loss, 